A new farce is coming to a theatre near you soon. It's the story of a matchmaking dinner plan that descends into chaos. It's being put on by the Lee players in Stubbington. And joining us now to tell us about it are Christine Oliphant and Vicky Melville. Ladies, thank you very much for coming in. So I'm going to start with you, Christine. Can you just give us a bit more detail about what this farce is about? Well, Deborah Jarvis wants to give a dinner party for her unlucky in love colleague Jenny and her mild-mannered neighbour Simon. She wants everything to go just right. She is an accountant at a television company and she's very efficient. She wants everything in her life to be efficient. So when things start to go wrong she is she doesn't know where to go. She starts off by being told that the electricity has gone in the kitchen. So that means no oven. Well, she can't cope with that. They've got to get an electrician in immediately. So her husband, who's very laid back and relaxed, takes a while and doesn't actually come up with an electrician. So Deborah takes over and she gets an electrician to come along immediately. But then their cleaning lady, Mrs. Seymour, takes one look at the electrician and disappears. And she will not go into the kitchen while the electrician is there. And she keeps hiding behind the curtains. <laughs> then other uninvited guests appear. <laughs> one of them, Barnaby Ruttle, has had designs on Jenny for many years. And Deborah wants to get rid of him to the point in killing him. Oh, but... Don't give it all away. <laughs> <laughs> but you will have to see what actually happens. Oh. Deborah can be quite feisty when she needs to be. And why did you decide to put on a farce? It sounds quite novel and extreme. Well, we, we like a comedy and our audience seems to like a comedy. Um, we've done a couple of farces, haven't we? I mean, yes. we've put on over 110 performances over the years. Um, who've been going for 43 years. In actual fact, the, the person producing this is one of the founder members, June Witham. Um, so that means she's been with the Lee players she was, for 43 she was, years? Yes. She That's was incredible the in itself. Original, um, original member, her and a lady called Sally Appleton. They were the first two members. So, um, yes, they've been um, doing a lot of, of uh, plays. Actually, June still acts sometimes. Really? She, yes, doesn't she? How old she's am I allowed to ask well, she's in her <gasps> 80s. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> she's remarkable. She's a lovely lady. Yes, she is. We have to say that. She's the producer. Oh, yes. <laughs> she hasn't... You might not play the lead next time if you don't, because you're playing <laughs> Deborah in, in yes, all of this. Right. Yes. And what, what are the kind of challenges with putting on something that seems, seems it's got lots of people coming and going? Yes, quite. Mm. Uh, it is the, all the movement that's in it and everything that's going wrong and so the physical act actions that have to take place. People falling over, people falling down the cellar steps. <laughs> so, so much can go wrong. So we have great fun actually in rehearsals. Mm. And if it goes wrong in rehearsals, it's even funnier. But we hope it's going <laughs> to go wrong on the night. Hopefully, mm. hope you're all right on the night. <laughs> yes. And um, what, what I was going to say, what kind of people will enjoy watching this? Um, well, we have a, quite a wide variety of, um, of audiences. Um, I suppose, really, mostly, sounds awful, middle age and, and, and older, but we've got a few um, younger ones coming yeah, along now. Yeah. Um, so it's, you, you were sorry. saying earlier that if people don't just want to watch, they actually want to get involved with the players, perhaps yes. behind the scenes or even Absolutely. on the scenes. Yes, yes. If you want to come and join us, you certainly can. You don't have to act. We don't force it on you because <laughs> um, we always need people backstage or front of house or whatever. And I say we're, we're always after new act, uh, well, new people to come along. And we're a very friendly group. <laughs> <laughs> we don't bite, do we? No. <laughs> and Christine, just tell us a bit about for people who do want to come along to see. It's, it's Deborah's dinner, is that right? No, Deborah's, Deborah's party. party. Deborah's dinner. Yes. Oh, God, I've got it wrong. Um, <laughs> Deborah's dinner. Yes. Deborah's party. Oh, Deborah's party. Look at me. Deborah's, Deborah's party. Like Deborah's party. party. So Deborah's if people party. want to see Deborah's party, <laughs> yes. what do they do? <laughs> if they want to see it, well, it's on at the Crofton Hall Theatre, Crofton Community Centre, Stubbington Lane, Stubbington, on Thursday the 16th, Friday the 17th, and Saturday the 18th of March. Curtain up at 8 o'clock, and if you want tickets, the number is 01329 
662128. That's our box office number. And how much are those tickets? The tickets are £9, but that includes a hot drink and the programme. Oh, hot so drink it's and a bargain. <laughs> Well, you can have a cold drink if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, but I get the feeling that you're sort of very much getting into this character of Deborah. Are you much like her in real life? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't lose my temper the way Deborah loses her temper. I never tear my hair out in frustration. No, no, okay. no. I'm much calmer. Mm. Um, you can also um, buy your ticket on the door. You don't have to have okay. a ticket. Yeah, so you can come along and we'll, we'll let you in. Well, ladies, thank you very much for coming in and telling thank us you. all about it. It's been delightful talking to you about Deborah's party. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.